greetings, math person, and don't be afraid to learn from your mistakes. Uh, Maria sent us in this uh, equation without any questions attached to it. However, there are several interesting questions that arise from this situation. Um, it's a quadratic function uh, referring to a thrown object thrown from a building 1,728 feet high. So one question that comes to mind is how high does this object go after it was thrown? And one strategy for doing that is finding that out is completing the square. So the first step in that is to divide out negative 16 from these first two terms of the equation. So looking at it backwards, negative 16 times t squared gives you this term and negative 16 times negative 12t gives you that term. So these are still equivalent and we're leaving the constant term out here um, to the side. Next, we wanna add something here, which will later make it possible for us to factor into a perfect square. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll take the half of this term and square it. So half of 12, negative 12 is negative six, squared is 36. So we're gonna put 36 right here, adding 36 there. Now, we have to be careful about what we uh, do to this side of the equation. We want it to remain balanced. So we're going to add the same amount and take away the same amount at the same time. So the other thing is that putting 36 here means that it's going to get multiplied by negative 16 because it's inside these parentheses, which means that we're not just going to add 36 someplace else. Uh, we're going to have to add 16 times 36. Actually, putting it here is negative 16 times 36. So we're actually subtracting 576 here, which is why we're going to add the 576 over here. So those two things will balance out. Over here, we're adding negative 576. Over here, uh, we're adding positive 576. So the net effect is adding nothing. We're just changing the appearance of the equation. Now, this is a perfect square trinomial, which we know because half of negative 12 is the same thing as the square root of 36. So, uh, now we know that we can write t minus six in here and make it squared, uh, because if we were going backwards, we'd end up in squaring this binomial, we would get this trinomial. Now it's actually in vertex form, uh, which is like this, where h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. And notice that in our equation, we're subtracting six, and this format says, H is what is subtracted, and that was six. K is what is added, which was 2304. And so six seconds and 2,304 feet is the highest point of the thrown object. Okay, there's our vertex. All right, uh, that's not the only way we could have found that. We could have used the axis of symmetry uh, the general form of a quadratic is this, where we're in the ax squared plus bx plus c form. And if that's the case, then the axis of symmetry is going to be equal to the opposite of b over 2 times a. So our b was 192. The opposite of that is negative 192. a was negative 16. So what we get here is negative 192 divided by negative 32, which gives us positive six. And then we can take that positive six and have it replace X in the function. So gonna square six here, multiply by negative 16, uh, multiply six by 192 at our 1728. And we're gonna get the same thing, uh, 2,304. And here is, uh, our axis of symmetry, so-called, because it splits the parabola into two halves that are identical. Now, um, I'll talk more about uh, why this ends there and that ends there on the next screen, which uh, here we're talking about uh, another question that could arise, which is, 
when is this thrown object finally going to come down to the ground? Uh, so when it does come down to the ground, the height would be zero. And I'm using this version of the equation. You could use the original version of the equation if you wanted to and set it equal to zero and solve. Uh, but this one, I, I think, is a little bit quicker. Um, and here's why. Because first, we're just going to subtract uh, 2304 from both sides. And then we're going to divide by negative 16. So negative divided by negative gives us 144. This is a square. To uh, undo a square, you take the square root, which could be positive or negative uh, 12, square root of 144, either positive or negative 12, because t is an unknown. And then we're going to add 6 to get t by itself. And if we add 6 to uh, positive 12, we get 18. And if we add 6 to negative 12, that's going to be a negative result, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, because that's talking about six seconds before we threw the ball. And this function really only applies to the position of the ball uh, with respect to time after it's been thrown or the instant that it's been let go. So uh, what our 18 refers to is uh, when it hits the ground and actually going beyond 18 seconds, uh, this function isn't going to make any sense either because the object, whatever it is, may bounce or it may just thud into the turf and stay there. Uh, but after 18 seconds, it'll be back to the ground. All right. And that about covers it. Um, thanks for watching. And don't be afraid to learn from your mistakes because you are a math person. Thank you.